I was born in Japan and moved here when I was 16. And um, I studied actually photography um, at Queensland College of Art in Brisbane. And um, I actually was doing photography, but also doing installation in printmaking. <laughs> so I was a bit of like doing everything um, in one go. And I was kind of enjoying that um, sort of intersection in between um, different mediums and applying that um, depending on what kind of concept that I was working with at the time. The idea um, that I've been working with is uh, predominantly uh, with a concept of mortality and everyday. The reason I moved from installation to painting is that um, I consider installation as um, sort of like a theatrical and um, like more, yeah, more like a stage in play rather than um, the book. Uh, to me, the um, act of paintings is similar to um, writing a book and it's very um, sort of um, uh, intimate and um, sort of uh, very private in a way compared to installation. You're inviting a lot of people and um, interacting, especially I was making a lot of more um, interactive work, so I kind of wanted to have that um, private um, engagement with, the, with my audience. So that's why I guess I moved from installation to painting. Who knows what I'm doing next, but uh, <laughs> I'm doing painting mainly at the moment. When I'm actually painting, I had this process of um, so some of the art, um, some of the paintings are actually based on real photos that I've taken from on my phone, but some of them are actually completely fictional, and um, but I collect images from um, like internet and I kind of collage them in my head, and then and then elaborate from that again. So some yeah some paintings say the tree in the um, the sand pit right next to it is uh, all yeah all fictional, but based on my memories um, from my childhood and also like past and current sort of experiences. So that tree painting has sort of um, iconic memory and also the sand pit. Um, so the tree really represents uh, freedom and. Um, when I moved to Australia, like I saw like a fast day of arrival. Um, I saw the tree, like a palm tree in the back, somebody's backyard. And I was like, whoa, this is, I never seen this before in Japan, <laughs> obviously. So, um, and that blowing, like a, a windy tree is such an iconic sort of image of my vast Australian landscape. And, um, but also it links back to, um, you know, trees on the street, trees in, um, in Japan from my childhood. The memory is not really true to the fact. It's always, you know, you're always constantly beautifying and also rebuilding your memory. Um, so it's, you can't quite trust your own memory. Uh, but the sensation and the feeling of the um, experience is so vivid that um, I'm trying to sort of contain that uh, feeling or sensation within my painting. The concept of ma is that um, the interval or the pause um, or silence between, um, say, you know, the music, uh, silence in between music or, um, uh, yeah, silence in between um, play or dialogue. So. It seems to me it's, it's just the act, very active silence and it has sort of equal value to the, um, the whole, uh, whole of the, yeah, the whole work. Memory is only exist within yourself and it's not related to the maybe factual or somebody else's memory. It's always like I was talking about um, beautifying memories and rebuilding it. Um, it, it just 
my memory is like floating in the vast sort of like other people's memories and also images that's so like gushing in from internet or somebody else's memory and so in a way the the experience itself is the most um, significant part and not so much of the yeah myself after I had this show I actually had a I like a lot of um, thought about um, actually changing maybe mediums. I'll be still doing painting but incorporating maybe a video in between the painting. So uh, say I haven't made this work yet but like I'll be like throwing a ball and then there will be a video of ball like moving and all around and then there is a painting of a uh, ball uh, stopping in the background or something. Um, so I'm interested in the normality and the reality and versus sort of fictional and and also physically moving the playing of the painting and playing of the video and maybe coming back and then might be doing performance could be actual ball in the gallery so I'm interested in sort of um, yeah sort of after image or I'm just making up a word but yeah. like a before image of the action or experience.